hide an anti-war scrawl on a bathroom wall. A request to DJ for a song in Ukrainian. A photo with a blue and yellow scarf. In Russia, all of these became grounds for prosecution. Thousands of court documents tell the story of Russia's totalitarian crackdown on anti-war speech. How the Russian government silences wartime dissent just days after invading Ukraine. President Vladimir V. Putin of Russia signed a censorship law making it illegal to discredit the military. The legislation was so comprehensive that even its spokesman acknowledged it was easy to cross the border into prohibited speech. In first 18 months of the war, law imposed punishment for owning a car wash. A large number of ordinary Russians, school teachers, retirees, landowners. The law has led to more than 6,500 people being arrested or fined. An average of more than 350 per month. According to a New York Times analysis of Russian court records through last August that's a small percentage Russia's population 146 million. But the Times analyzed details each case. Revealing extraordinary reach and invasiveness Kremlin's coup. Anyone who questions war or shows sympathy with Ukraine, even in a private conversation, is now liable to prosecution in Russia. It turns out no gesture is too small. Judges ruled that only wearing blue and yellow clothing, the colors of the Ukrainian flag, or painting one's nails blue and yellow could be punished. And there are few safe havens as people increasingly inform their fellow citizens. In dozens of cases, people were prosecuted after someone reported them for comments they made on the train. In a cafe or in a liquor store, the censorship law enabled Putin to continue a nearly two-year occupation that killed or maimed hundreds of thousands of Russians and Ukrainians, with minimal resistance from those who opposed it at home. While most Russians tell pollsters they support the war, nearly 20% say they do not. In the past, the government would give examples of a few individuals, some of them prominent, now practices widespread censorship, with public anti-war speech largely eliminated this year. Records show authorities remain intent on stigmatizing criticism expressed online and in private. More than 3,000 cases involved social media or messaging platforms popular in Russia. A huge number of completely unknown, anonymous, non-public people who wrote something or said something somewhere are being shot, said Andrei Kolesnikov, a senior fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center. To better understand the scope of this censorship, we spent months analyzing a database of every available public prosecution record under the new law. Provided by OVD Info, a Russian human rights and legal aid group. First-time offenders are typically fined 30,000 rubles at the current exchange rate. Around 300. About half the average monthly salary in Russia. And repeat offenders may face prison time. The law known as Article 20.3.3, became most wide. 